Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. So this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for whatever it resonates, okay? So keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is for it. We had one card that just fell out. Oh, no, we got a couple more. So what do we have for Sagittarius? Now, November is the card that fell out. So this is a very, November may have been a very prominent time. Something could be coming back around that happened in November. That's what I'm thinking. You could also be dealing with a Scorpio, maybe even another Sagittarius. We had uh, three other cards fall out. Fly, fly, a period of ill health, depression, crown, honor and respect will come to you. You ready for this? Gavel, involvement with the law. So, <clears throat> Wonderful. Something that happened in November may be coming back around. There could be some involvement with the law. Uh, you may be going through a period of ill health or depression, or you were in the past. But it looks as though you are going to be receiving some honor and respect. So, the law could be karma. Okay, it doesn't have to be, you know, in this uh, universe, in the earthly law, okay, the law could be, could be, this could be the law, you know, the justice system, but it could also be karma. I do feel like something is coming back around, and you're going to be gaining some sort of respect. Honor and respect will come to you. What do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? I think you're in a very strong position. I do. What do we have for Sagittarius? You ready? Time to set new goals. So this is a time to set new goals. I gotta show you what's on the bottom because that's what I like to do. It doesn't matter if it's upright or reverse, because this one can come out the same. Eight, 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 eight is a number of change, is a number of abundance, extreme abundance. So you're gonna be getting some abundance, okay? Um, what goes around comes around as well. That's also the infinity sign, okay? So what goes around comes around. I do believe that you are going to be receiving some sort of abundance. This is very positive change. Uh, something is coming back around that happened. I think it has to do with November. Okay, I don't know why. Um, but whatever it is, it's very positive and abundance is headed your way. So what do we have for Sagittarius? The time is now with eights. Right now, right now, things are going to start changing for the better. You're gonna, probably going to be receiving more and more communication. Things are going to be happening a lot faster for you. Um, you've been stuck. You've been stuck in a situation, letting your, your head get the best of you, but there's definitely positive change ahead. You're leaving something behind which was emotionally disappointing to you going to a better place mentally and financially, I think. So what do we what do we have? What do we have for Sagittarius? Find your center. The your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside you at this time. When the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you, then this is an ideal moment to stop and ask, when was the last time I checked in with myself? 
that's where, where we have a period of ill health, depression. So I think that you go through these ups and downs where you need to center yourself, obviously. Um, when you start to lose it, which, you know, we all do, you need to um, ask yourself what it, what's causing you this and how can you fix it. You know, really ground yourself for a minute. Um, when was the last time you checked yourself? It, maybe, maybe it's something within you that you need to change your perspective on. You know, you're in control of your thoughts. You really are. So, um, what do we have for Sagittarius? Queen of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Pentacles, that's financial stress, financial burdens, not stable, insecure, ungrounded, not grounded, not being realistic. You could, that could be your energy or somebody that you're dealing with, not very practical. Um, overspending, somebody could be overspending. Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is walking away from an emotionally disappointing situation. Somebody hasn't been very practical. They've been overdoing it with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. This is walking away. Okay, this is, this is a necessary goodbye. Okay, saying goodbye to something that is not serving you emotionally. Um... Six of Cups reversed. Okay, I got a sneeze coming. <coughs> I'm sorry. I don't wanna I don't wanna have to edit this video, so it is what it is. Let me take I have terrible internet here and I no, I'm not doing it. Anyhow, Queen of Wands. There we go. I mean, you are in a very good position. You are. But there's memories of the past. There's memories of the past that are affecting you. You're, somebody here is clinging to the past. You need to uh, walk away. You need to leave the past behind. There's no reason to hang on to it. There's stubbornness here. Stubbornly hanging on to something in the past that was emotionally... Uh, dysfunctional to you it's time to leave it behind leave it behind go in a new direction it really is time for you to take action you are in a position of power right now I feel like by you walking away and going down this new path that you're going down you know you will be able to leave this behind this is like packing up leaving home some of you are moving in a new direction definitely Some of you are dealing some of you are dealing with a mother that isn't a very good mother. Queen of Pentacles reversed is is insecure. Unstable, greedy, selfish. And it doesn't have to be a mother. It's just, a, it's a woman. It doesn't have to be a mother. But this is somebody that is a very selfish and greedy. It could be a father, you know. Whoever this person is, they're money hungry. Money hungry individual. Fool reverse, reckless behavior, take a risk, let go of your fear. There's some sort of fear that is holding you back. There's something that you need to let go of. It's, a, it's baggage that you're carrying. You need to drop this baggage. You need to find your confidence and your willpower and your discipline to step into unknown territory, you know, to take a risk. I feel like there's some sort of past unfinished business that you're hanging on to. Let it go. Let it go. I 
had to push pause because I had to blow my nose. Um, so I'm going to have to edit either way, but I'm not going to take the sneeze out because that's an extra part. <laughs> um, it's not, I'm not, I don't, I'm here to give you a message. I'm not here to make it perfect. Okay. And every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. Um, it's not about, uh, everything being perfect. It's about, um, getting things done. Anyhow, uh, the fool reversed is reckless behavior. It is, um held back by fear a need to start over to start fresh you have to you have the power you have the power within you to leave this past situation behind the six of cups in reverse is right behind you so that's the past it's memories of the past that are haunting you you gotta let those memories go you do um, this this has this is like a robbing of innocence with the six of cups reverse. You know that's a, that's a, that's a, like or child abuse or child neglect or something like that. I feel like uh, maybe you feel like there's some unfinished business, but you ha you need to find the strength to just walk away from this whole situation. The eight of cups is walking away. Walking away is going to bring you success again time to set new goals it is time for you to set your sights on something higher okay don't don't stay put Lee drop the baggage drop the baggage of the past so that you can be free all right I feel like you are um, you've given your power away to something in the past you have you just had the magician in reverse on the bottom that's feeling powerless um, Six of Wands reversed. Now, we got a couple sixes reversed. That's not going in the right direction. You have the power. You have everything you need. And I don't, and where's the magician now? Anyhow, um, this we have the Queen of Pen, uh, the Queen of Wands here. That's your energy. You are a force to be reckoned with. You need to hold your head up high. Be proud. Be proud of who you are. Um, six of wands reverse is a loss. This is, this is a smug, cocky individual who, um, is sitting on a high horse that is entitled, you know, don't, don't, don't take on that energy. You could be dealing with somebody that is entitled, that sits on a high horse, that causes a lot of conflict with you. This person likes to fight with you. Um, they like to pick fights with you. That's what we have here too. You're dealing with a person that it's almost like fighting with somebody where there's no victory there's no re there's no there's never there's no victory here the six of one there's no progress being made and I feel I feel like your best course of action is to just walk away just walk away the six of wands reverse is no victory no progress it's a loss it's a no no, 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 no. It's losing a battle. Somebody is losing a fight. They're losing a fight because they keep on holding on to the past. You know, they're unwilling to let go of the baggage of the past. You got to drop it. You have to. You have, and that's why the fool, the fool doesn't take baggage with them on any new journey. It feels like you have started a new journey, right? You have. You've started something new, but that past is still creeping up. Drop it. Drop it. Drop the past. You can't bring it with you on the new journey. You can't keep talking about it. You can't keep bringing it up. It has to be buried. Anyhow, um, very stubborn energy here. Extremely stubborn a need to uh, remove yourself from this situation. It feels like there's some sort of embarrassment here as well. I feel like there's some sort of abuse. There's been some sort of neglect or abuse or something like that, which you're carrying as baggage that's affecting you. It's in, it could be making you angry.
Is it worth it? We get the seven of pentacles on the bottom. That is about investment. And maybe it's time for you to relocate. It's time for you to go someplace else. I feel like, it. you know, time's up. Time is up. This is short-lived success. Justice reverse. This is an injustice. There is, I don't know if there's some sort of uh, involvement with the law where things don't go in your favor, you know, and it could be karma. I don't know if it is. Or you're dealing with somebody that has broken the law, that has treated you unfairly. It didn't go in your favor and you're still holding on to it. There's animosity of some sort here. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not. Just let it go. It's not worth it. It is time to set new goals. This is affecting your health. It's almost like you're you're trying to fight with somebody that there's it feels like there's there's no reason. There's no reason. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's affecting your health. More honor and respect will come to you if you walk away. Whatever this is, you got to walk away from something. And it feels like this is maybe money related. I'm trying to get money, that kind of thing. Trying to get that's what I feel like it is. It's money related. You know, walk away. And it could be somebody that is coming towards you that wants your money. You know, uh, I do feel like there there could be something that you dealt with maybe years ago or long, long time ago, maybe even into your childhood that is coming back around during this time. And uh, you need to decide whether it's worth it or not, whether it's worth investing in this. I feel like there's somebody here that... Uh, is coming back around that uh, I feel like this person was very greedy very selfish um, they fought with you all the time they didn't respect you um, they abused you in some way they're coming towards you because they're emotionally unfulfilled and you're going to have to decide whether you want to give them a chance or not. Whether you want to invest in them or not. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that's coming towards you. I'm not sure. It could also be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could also be a Libra. You're going you're gonna to be put in a position of power. There's no doubt about it. I'm positive. There is somebody that caused you a lot of disharmony. You know, they caused you some sort of emotional discomfort in the past. And it feels like there's some unfinished business with this person. And this person is stepping into your you know path again and it feels like they they want to invest this is like seeds that were planted a long time ago are coming back around this person um and i feel like this person's gonna put in effort they're gonna try you know this but i feel like you're dealing with a loser i just want to be honest with you you we got the queen of wands looking at the six of wands reverse this is a loser you know this person uh may have lost you because they're greedy they're selfish they're not in they weren't looking for love they were just looking for something to hold on to you know they, they but they weren't looking for long term anything you know anyway i do feel like you have somebody here that is coming back around this person has now been hurt they I don't know. They may think that you're, I hate to say this, but the fool reverse is foolish. You know, they may feel like they're, that they can pull the wool over your eyes. And maybe, I don't know if you have some sort of money or financial anything that to give them, but that's what it feels like it is. I think that you need to be very, very careful because you got somebody here that is a rule breaker. This is a law breaker. This is somebody that breaks the law that, um, lies a lot it is somebody that lies a lot 
And there is definitely karma here. This is a karmic contract of yours that is coming back around. The business is not finished. It's un there's unfinished business here. So get prepared for this. Uh, Two of Cups reversed. That's no compatibility. That's no partnership. That's fighting. That's uh, a breakup. Three of Wands reversed. Lack of foresight. Unprepared. Wasting time. Um, you are unprepared. Somebody is coming back around. They're, they, they, they delayed. They wasted a lot of time. Now they want to partner up with you and they may think that they can pull the wool over your eyes. This is somebody from your past. Somebody from your past wants another chance. They want to invest and you are going to have to make a choice probably between two because we have this three which would mean there's a third party situation. I feel like you've already moved on into something else. Isn't that the way it always is? Um, you're dealing with somebody that is very smug, very, very cocky, that likes to be in the limelight. This person probably uh, maybe wants you to relocate to them or something like that, or they want to relocate to you. I feel like there's some sort of distance here, um, but I feel like you need to be practical. You need to ground yourself. Um, you're going to need to really think about this. I think that whoever this person is, they're, fi they're struggling financially. And that's one of the reasons why they are coming in. This person is, now we got the magician reversed again. This person is definitely a liar. They are a master manipulator. They are very skilled at manipulation. Um, they have hidden agendas and uh, they're looking for financial stability. So I feel like they want another chance. They're going to be asking you for forgiveness. Three of swords reversed. You may need to forgive somebody. And maybe this is what this is about. If it's this person isn't coming back, forgiveness is needed. There is, this is an opportunity for closure. It's an opportunity to uh, start over from scratch, whether you're going to be with this person or not. Uh, you do have an opportunity to start fresh. Um, you are right in the middle of this reading in the upright position, which tells me that you are in the position of power, 100%. You're going to be thinking about whether you should invest in this person that, this person fought with you a lot. They brought you down. They were, they uh, weren't really committed um, but now here they are. I feel like they're arriving or they're, they're showing up. They're communicating a lot, whatever. I feel like my best advice is this person is, uh, reckless. This person is probably not a good match and, uh, you should be focusing on the future, not the past. So yeah, good luck.